guess I have two songs that I would say of 20 years of being in Nashville that I'm most proud of. Uh, the first one was uh, John Michael Montgomery's song, uh, Letters From Home. It was a song that, that was uh, deeply personal, I guess, at the time that we wrote it. I didn't realize till later how impactful the song would be. Um, I was in the airport, it was right after 9-11, and uh, I saw this man and this girl together, young boy and girl, really. Uh, but I could tell by looking at him, he was a soldier. He wasn't wearing a uniform or anything. And I knew that we were fixing to go to war in Iraq. Didn't know exactly what was going on, but I had a feeling because her eyes were swollen red and and she you could tell she'd been crying all night and she was still in her pajamas at the airport. Uh, it was early in the morning and I was picking up my dad. And uh, something inside me just told me to ask what the deal was. So I'd, I'd ask him if he was in the military and he said, Yes, I am, and we're shipping out, and I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what's happening, and, and uh, I could tell she was really upset, and I thanked her, hugged her, and thanked her for her service to our country and, and him as well. And, and they left, and it just kind of, I kept thinking about that young boy and that young girl, and, and it stayed in my mind for, for the whole weekend. I even told my dad. My dad said, you need to write a song about that. So... Every Tuesday, my buddy Tony and I got together to write, and we sat down, and and uh, I told him this story, and we started talking, and uh, like it always does, somehow or other, you just through the course of conversation, we we wound up coming up with this idea, letters from home, um, about a young boy and a girl and a family really telling a story of these letters that were sent to these soldiers while they're over uh, in war, and. Uh, so we sat down and wrote that song, and it was about, it took about two hours to write that song. And most songs take forever. Uh, I've spent as much as 10 years trying to see a song come to fruition. But uh, this song happened really, really quickly. And uh, we got done with it and really didn't know what we had until it was recorded. And then fast forward, just a couple of years later, um, I was in, my wife and I had taken vacation, went over to Italy. And we were there, and, and uh, this will give you an idea of the impact. And it taught me at that time how important what we do as artists and songwriters. Um, we were in Italy, and we were sitting in this little bar drinking wine and talking. And uh, this guy said, oh, y'all from America? Yeah, well, we are too. You mind if we sit with you? He said, no. And so we sat down. We started talking and sharing some wine. And he said, so what do you do for a living? I said, I'm a songwriter. He said, uh, you written anything I know? And I said, well, unless you listen to country music, probably not. He said, well, I do. I love country music. And I said, well, I, I just had a song out called Letters From Home. And he said, you wrote that song? And I said, yeah. And he goes, no way. And I said, yeah, I did. And he looked at his wife and he said, this man wrote Letters From Home. And he was just acting astounded, you know. And he said, uh, that was me and my, that's me and my son's song. I said, it is. He goes, yeah, my son was a soldier in Iraq. He said he was killed last year. And he said, that was our song, man. And he started crying. And his wife started crying. And my wife started crying. And my sister was there, photographer. She was there taking pictures for us. She started crying. And I started drinking more wine. And uh, we, we, uh, we sat there and, and talked, you know, for quite a while. And he said, will you do me a favor? And I said, yes, sir. And he took this bracelet off his wrist and said, would you wear this for my son? And this is 2006, uh, Matthew P. Wallace. I've wore that. I haven't taken it off my wrist since, since that day. And uh, I've carried his son and his service in my heart um, the whole time. And I tell that story a lot when I play that song and it's very impactful. It's one of those things where you, you realize no matter how far away across an ocean you go, uh, music is, is more powerful than us as songwriters. The next song I would say that uh, that was that meant a lot to me 